Damn it. The, the research never stops. Family. We're going to talk about the pineal gland today. But now I got to do a show on the, uh, uh, the pituitary gland. Because the pineal gland actually sits higher than the pituitary gland. Which means that the pineal gland is actually not the third eye. Even though it's at the eye level. It's actually the crown chakra. <gasps> Yeah, I'm fucked up too. I'm confused. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, Y'all got to understand that a lot of this research is new. They just now really figure out scientifically what the pineal gland does. And we're going to talk about it today. Join us on the journey while I'm going and find out the difference between the pituitary and the pineal. Well, we know the pineal only secretes one hormone. While the pituitary secretes nine. So let's get into the pineal gland. Family, I'm still getting texts from this morning's live stream, right? Because, like, you know, on the Giami journey, right, we all realize that we are seekers. We are learners, right? And sometimes the information that we get or the information that we have is incorrect. So, I got the pineal gland and the pituitary gland mixed up. Right. Not in the research that I'm doing for the show today, but while I was speaking. Right. Because it's like boom, pineal, pituitary. Right now. But now what I'm finding out is that a lot of us may be confused about the pineal and the pituitary. All right. So the pineal gland sits at the center of the brain at about eye level pineal. Right now at the base of the brain. Right above the hypothalamus sits the pituitary gland. All right. So the pituitary gland, if you look on some charts, will be listed as the third eye. Well, on other charts, the third eye is listed as the pineal gland. Right. You got these two glands. One is about the size of a, a, a kernel of rice, which is the pineal gland, which sits right in there and is shaped like a cone, it's, it's, it's shaped like a, um, a pine cone. Then you got the pituitary gland, which is several parts from what I'm understanding, maybe maybe two parts, and it sits right below the hypothalamus, and it secretes nine different hormone, hormones, according to the research that I'm looking at right now, right? So we're going to keep on, we're going to keep on moving on, right? Because today we're talking about the pineal gland, right? Whether it's called the crown chakra. Or it's called the third eye. The key piece about this structure is its importance, right? The importance of the pineal gland, right? We've been hearing about it all this time. We we've been 
We've been running across it all this time, right? In our spiritual studies, we hear ancients talk about the third eye or, or the crown, crown chakra and opening up to the universe, right? But I want to go a little bit more in depth and I want to take a, a, a Giamme angle on it, right? Because a lot of times I think one of the problems is that because we are the TV generation, we're looking for the sky to open up and for angels to speak to us and a trumpet to go off when we have spiritual awakenings. Family, it's not going to be like that. It's not going to be like that, right? Because I want to explain my view, my understanding at this infantile level of the pineal gland, okay? And I want, because I, I, the piece is, I want you to really grasp the concept because I don't want you, um, because a lot of us have had experiences with the pineal gland, right? Being awake and doing what it's supposed to be doing, but because we have been ruined by these great epic poems and great epic stories, we are missing what it does. And we miss the very blessings that's coming to us because we're looking for something else. We miss the very blessing that's coming to us because we're looking for something else. We're looking for something big. We're looking for something grandiose. And I'm not saying that it can't be that, right? But could it simply be you aligning with the universe and things begin to start happening for you rather than to you? And I'm going to explain. We're going to try to go into that a little bit, all right? So now I got some articles from Indoctrine Web, Web, I have an article from Global Healing Center, and I have another article from Wake Up World, all right? Um, the Wake Up World one is interesting because they get into talking about DMT, which we're going to talk about a little bit today too, right? I want y'all to I, listen. Now, I want to tell you this. Some of the research that I'm running across is kind of... I ain't going to say contradiction, contradicting each other, but the pituitary, I mean the pineal gland, see, I'm slipping up. The pineal gland produces one hormone, supposedly, and that's melatonin. And according to some of the readings that I'm, that I'm looking at, I'm going to get a little bit deeper into it, just like we got to get a little bit deeper into the microbiome because this connects to the microbiome, and I'm about to tell you how right now. Um... Pineal gland produces melatonin, right, which helps in your restful state, which puts your body in a state of where it's able to rest. And when we meditate, we release mel melatonin, right, because we close our eyes, we cut off the light, and we're able to go into a trance-like state. We go into... Um, um, uh, a beyond conscious state is a is a deeper level of consciousness when we are able to in a sense be a wakeful sleep right and in that realm we're able to access certain information we're able to learn certain things we're able to calm our bodies down because we produce the melatonin that hormone and it calms everything else down but what we also are finding out about the pineal gland that it also has something to do with the sexual organ Right. So let's go through and now. But this is where it contradicts. Well, I ain't going to say contradicts. They say that um, and something I was reading, it was talking about serotonin and how um, the, the pineal gland does something with the serotonin. And the way that it sounded, it sounded as if serotonin is the original state and melatonin comes from serotonin right now what serotonin what serotonin does it allows you to be in a wakeful state it, it, it helps adjust the moves the feel good chemical that's released but what you what, what we start finding out in the research is, is that that 90 80 let's say 80 to 90 percent of 
80 to 90 percent of the serotonin that is produced in your body is not produced up here it's produced here in your second brain in your gut right you got all these neuron receptors up and down all the way from all the way from up here all the way down to where the food comes out you have neural receptors there and the stomach produces 80 to 90 percent of the serotonin all right i guess in some form or fashion the serotonin is transformed into melatonin all right but let's go let's just go and look and see what we got all right so i wrote down the pineal gland known as the third eye or um or the 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 um, crown chakra that i'm just now finding out this morning in the morning confusion because basically I confused the pituitary and the, the gland and like I said we all learn it family we all learn it but my teacher Dr. Marie Bukelsi didn't call it the third eye he called it the first eye because he says the pineal is first created and then everything else is created around it and it's an organ in the center of the brain that produces melatonin which is a hormone that regulates sleep and wakefulness. Actually, it regulates the sleep and uh, the, the lack of melatonin allow you to stay awake and the serotonin also um, plays along in there as well. We're going to get into the melatonin and the serotonin and how we can produce stuff naturally. Because family, one of the things that I want to do in, in our life care, and what is life care, Brother Hatem? Let me read that definition for you. Life care. See, because... One of the issues is, right, because I want us to live a healthy life, right? But I'm also kind of focused on in, in life, right? What do I mean by in life? We all know we got to die. We know this, right? This is part of the app. This is part of our cycle. It's culturally appropriate for us to die, right? Now, I know a lot of y'all like, I want to live forever. I want to learn how to fly. Right, but family, the fact of the matter is, you got to get your ass up out the way so that your children can do what they need to do. If you living too long, well, what space do your children have to come in? You know what I'm saying? You gonna stay around an extra fifty years and fuck up their life, right? With your with your comments, your children need time to go on and develop. You get to come back. We are generational people. We get to come back. Stop being greedy, right? But what we want to deal with is not only our health in our present life, but we also want to deal with our health in our later life, right? Where with life care, unlike health care, unlike the sick care system that we all are involved with, right? Because they ain't really promoting health. They promote maintenance. You know what I'm saying? They promote maintenance. They turn you to a plastic individual because all these chemicals, and we're going to talk about some of those chemicals today, they pump into you to keep you alive, right? Even with some of the 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 the, the traditional um, health care piece, we pump ourselves full of so many different chemicals, right? Trying to extend our lives, right? When the fact of the matter is, rather than just life extension, we need to be looking at life and how we live it you understand what i'm saying so when i say life care i'm talking about life care caring for your life by the systematic use of life-giving principles this comes straight from the proverb i was working with like i said family you you do not know the gems that are sitting into you until you start going through your process I want you to start going through your process. I want you to set up your systematic process, family, right? Because the, the point that I'm trying to make is this. We don't have to die sick. We don't have to die in pain. You know what I'm saying? We can just fade away peacefully because it has happened. There are records where individuals are able to live a full and joyful life and give up the ghost. It's, uh, it, it's just a sudden boom and they out. Not the suffering, not all that. You know what I'm saying? We get to the age where we got to start looking into how can I go out of there, go out of here in style? 
How can I go out of here in a way that would influence my children and their life choices? You know what I'm saying? When they sit around talking to their friends about their parents passing or their grandparents passing, you don't want them to be reflecting on the memories and the trauma that you that we're taking them through with that shit. What you want them to do, well, uh, I don't know about that. You know what I'm saying? My grandparents left me notes on how to get up out of here in a peaceful way. And we need to be doing that. That's that's what that's that's what life cares about. Taking care of your life. So that you can live it good, you can start it good, you can live it good, and you can give it up even better. And in a stylish fashion. And we'll be able to come and have an open cast be like, man, he was stylish, even in the way he passed. That's why I want people coming to me. Right, you know what I'm saying? Pouring libation. And I, I won't remember, man, when Brother Hot Tim went out, Brother Hot Tim went out in style. And I ain't talking about in no fucking blaze of glory. Well, if that shit comes, whatever. But you know, if I'm as as an old man, older than I am now, I wanna be able just to be sitting down in my favorite chair and just go. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with preparing the way, family? And I know y'all like, y'all can't get it right now because some of y'all is caught up on this whole I'm going to live forever shit. You know what I'm saying? The fact of the matter is that you can't escape death. Stop running. Stop running. Start living. Start living. Right? One of the things that in, in my near-death experience that, 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 that I was confirmed of was that death will wait for you until you finish what you came here to do if you're doing what you're supposed to do. I wrote a whole poem about this shit. But death, you know what I'm saying? Death waits for you to finish what you was assigned to do, what you decided to come down here and do. Then that's when death takes you. Now, if you out here fucking around and doing other shit, you know what I'm saying? You, you, hey, you know what hey, when it comes, it comes. It ain't waiting. You know what I'm saying? But shit, I'm basically, I set a death door. Motherfucker, reject, get out. Go back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, the, the, the colors fading, sounds fading and shit. I'm sitting at death's door. You ain't done. Go back. All right. So. So in a sense... Melatonin and serotonin deals with your state of consciousness. All right? Now, the joyful and all that shit, a lot of that is produced by your gut. Microbiome, that's how we get back there. It is said the production of the hormone, also known as n acto 5 methoxytryptamine Now, remember, tryptamine is in that word. Is driven... By the master circadian clock. So we have a master circadian clock. This clock is said to be located in the region of the brain called the suprachrasmatic nuclei. Here, genes referred to as the clock genes continuously oscillate. Right? So now, circadian. The root word of it is circle. Circadian, whereas there's a... There's a constant 24-hour cycling that goes on, right? It's a rhythm, right? Think about this. You got this rhythm going on in you, right? And melatonin and serotonin allows you to oscillate between both ends. Oscillate means that when you got the uh, grandfather clock and the thing at the bottom is going... So, this, this suprachrasmatic nuclei, these genes referred to as clock genes, continuously oscillate, oscillate throughout the day. So, it's like they on, off, on, off, or whatever they, whatever they going in between. They're going from one to the other. They continuously oscillate. They form a rhythm. All right? Now, this is where I want to get to where a lot of us are missing when our pineal gland is working. 
Throughout the day, keeping time and aligning with a master rhythm. This organ is also known to regulate re the re reproduction hormone, hormones. So, pineal gland also regulates reproduction hormones. So, you know, healthy children come from this organ that keeps you in rhythm with something. Now, the question is, what are the su suprachiasmatic nuclei staying in rhythm with? Right? What is the rhythm that our, our pineal gland is trying to get us in tune with? Now, of course, we're supposed to be in tune with the rhythms of nature, but man, in his all-knowing facility, in his ability to try to conquer you, has set up rhythms for you that you start aligning with. And when you line, align with these rhythms, it takes you out of the real, the universal. You can see the light behind me. It takes you out of the universal rhythm that is popping off out here. Right? So we become in tune. We, not only are we eating processed fruit and, and artificial shit. Right? We are also, think about this family. We are also submitting ourselves to artificial rhythms. Ooh, so what, brother Hatim? So what? So now, when you are connected to an artificial rhythm, you are out of sync with the natural rhythm of life. Now, this is what I'm saying. When you are able to master the rhythm of life, of the real life, not the synthetic life that we're living. Like right now, I got the light on and all this. Not the synthetic life that we're living. But when you're able to get in tune with that universal rhythm, that's when shit start happening for you. And all of us have experienced that. Where we was just happened to be at the right place at the right... We was in rhythm. We was in harmony with the universe. So things start happening for us. Some of us knew we... Some of us got friends like that. Right? Well, then you know, boom, boom, boom. They just happen to get a flight that took them here and they just happen to run into this. And next thing you know, they done made a come up. And the point is, a lot of us are missing it because we're out of sync. Even though our pituitary glands, my fault, even though our pineal gland may be vibrating and may not be totally calcified, the rhythm is keeping is off. So we dance to the rhythm of life off beat. Uh oh. Uh oh. Or we dance to somebody else's rhythm because culture's culture helps set the rhythm. So whose culture, whose whose culture rhythm you dancing to, family? Right? We gotta get that we gotta get that Giami. We gotta get that God rhythm back. Right? So being a God, being being a king, being a queen is all about being in tune, being in rhythm with the vibration of the universe, with the oscillations of the universe, so that you can be in the right place at the right times. Ain't even about prediction. Let's go on into it. It was called the seat of the soul, but it sounds like the seat of rhythm, which in GNJ aligns with the day of Nia. All right. And the law of rhythm, which is the hermetic law that falls on that day, right? So we also, not only do we, not only can we say that according to the new chart, the pineal gland, which is supposed to the crown chakra, of the, I'm, I'm confused right now, so I'm, I'm going to have to do some more research. So not only is it aligned with a mojo, which brings you in tune with the universe, it helps you find your purpose. When you are out of tune, you can't find your rhythm. You can't find your purpose. Your purpose is your rhythm. This is what you was here to bring. This is the music. This is the piece of the orchestra of life that you was meant to bring. And you're not able to bring it. Why? Because you're playing off key. So the universe kick you out the band. You know what I'm saying? You could be playing man's band and you're playing off thinking you're jamming. When in fact, you're causing all types of confusion. You ran into bad luck. We call it bad luck, right? But it's basically you being out of rhythm. Right? Shaped like a pine cone, the pineal gland after a, um, often appears 
um, calcified and x-rays by fluoride, calcium and phosphorus that builds up in us as we age. The pineal secretes melatonin according to the amount of light receiving. Now the question is, if it's if the pituit if the pineal, I keep on wanting to say the pituitary, so I'm gonna do something on the pituitary. If the pineal is all the way in here, how does it react to light? See, because really there is no light getting. You got a closed system here. There's really no light getting in. Your eyes are taking what you see and translating it into electrical impulses, which people don't even know what electricity is. Electrical impulses is, is transforming it to a form of eye shade and shooting it into your brain, right? And the image is, is, is being translated to the brain. So really, it don't even see light. So the question is, how is, it, how is this happening? Now let's get to how you... Decals, you know. So now there's a lot of shit that's being shoot shot at you to help calcify your um, pineal gland. Now, if I am your enemy, if I am your enemy, right? I want to uh, I want to calcify your pineal gland. Why? Because if I'm able to calcify your pineal gland, it would appear that you are living a cursed life. Because you're out of rhythm. Think about it. You know what I'm saying? That's all bad luck is. It's a matter of being out of rhythm. Right? In, 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 in sports, you can see it all the time. Sometimes somebody come in, um, they on point. They call We call it being on point. They're right in their groove. Ain't that how we say? He, he, got, he, he got it. He's right in the groove. You know what I'm saying? We call it the flow. Right? Those of you that MC, you been there. You didn't you 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 hit the right words right at the right damn time. Those of you that do, you know what I'm saying, do writing. Every now and then you hit your groove, you hit your rhythm, right? But if I calcify your pineal gland, if I totally calcify it, right, and you are not able to get the secretions that you need, you fall out of rhythm. You fall out of the circadian rhythm of the universe. You got these oscillating pieces. That might not be oscillating right, or even oscillating at all, because of all the poisons we're taking in our body, and we are totally out of rhythm. We out of sync. Like for example, if you don't believe me, take your phone, take your phone, go and change the date and the time. And try to get internet service. It's out of sync. It's out of sync. Right. This is why one of the first functions you do on your phone is set the clock and the date. Because it puts it in the rhythm so that it can catch the satellite stuff. See, I, for a while I was having problems with my phone. I found out that it had the wrong damn date on it. I said, how does it get there? All right, well, all right, boom. So. So. When it's time for sleep, family, you know what I'm saying? You need to get in total darkness. When you meditate and close your eyes, get in total darkness. You know what I'm saying? You know. Um, all right. Uh, the, pineal, the pineal is also cited to produce serotonin, which is said to be what melatonin is derived from. But I haven't found anywhere where they talk about... Um, um, the pineal secreting serotonin. Um, like I said, 90% of that is produced, produced in the gut. So we're going to have to look at the relationship between melatonin and serotonin. All right. They say four ways to activate your pineal gland. Get out into the sun. Sun exposure kickstarts the pineal gland and stimulates the mind. Any type of light exposures, which according to what we just was talking about is kind of you know what I'm saying? It, it shuts it down, right? Because the... Well, well, hold on. Either directly or indirectly activates the pineal gland, prompting it to produce serotonin, which I got on here produces... produced mainly in the gut, right? So I don't know. Maybe there's a connection to where the, the gut... But the gut knows when to produce, so it ain't like the brain is even telling the gut what to do. That's what's crazy, family. It, it's, it's crazy. So... 
we're getting cross messages here. So do your own research with all this. The neurotransmitters responsible for mood and energy levels. That's serotonin. This is why it's crucial to avoid light after the sun goes down because you need your pineal gland to produce melatonin and suppress serotonin. The process can only be accomplished by reducing the light from electronics, light bulbs, as much as possible. Sleep in complete darkness. All right, we kind of discussed that. Sun gazing, right? You know, and this is where you can look it up, but it's where you catch the sun like right now, right at the, right when it's rising, and you gaze at the sun, and right when it's setting, you gaze at the sun. All right? Meditation, the pineal gland responds to the bioelectric signals of light and dark. And meditation activates this bioelectric energy. When With practice, you can learn to direct, direct this energy. Now, modern problems with pineal gland. We already talked about it. Um, calcification, right? Five ways to um, decalcify. So, hold on. I want to make sure we get... So they got something in here where they talk about how it's calcified. I want to make sure I ain't skipped by that. All right, cool. So, they talk about how to decalcify. So, we're going we're gonna to talk about that a little bit. So, we just got done talking about how to activate it. Meditation, breathing exercise is very important, family. I'm telling you, breath is the first step, right? Now, substance that calls calcification. Toothpaste, artificial ca um, toothpaste with fluoride. Alright. Artificial calcium. Intake in large quantities of calcium that come from processed food and supplement leads to large amounts of calcium phosphate that stores itself in your system. Polluted water. Mercury. Chemical pesticides. GMOs, deadly toxins, like anything artificial, is going to contribute to your overall health and health of your pineal gland. Refined sugars, chemical mouthwash, artificial foods, and other co other chemical household items will de detriment your will be a detriment to your health. Drugs, harmful substances such as non-organic sugar, tobacco, uh oh. Alcohol and caffeine are known to reduce energy in the body, which allows for toxins to store themselves in your system. Drink that water, family. All right. So, let's talk about some of the things that they give us to decalcify the pineal gland. Tamarind fruit. The fruit from the African tamarind tree. Hmm. It's interesting. It's extremely effective at removing fluoride from the body. One study found children given tamarind extracted significantly more fluoride in their urine compared to control groups that may halt or even reverse the effects of skeletal fluorosis. Now, so there's a disease called skeletal fluorosis. What the fuck is that? Any Somebody out there let me know what that is. Skeletal fluorosis. What is that? That don't even sound right. All right. Um, tamarind fruit. You can find them at um, international stores. Right, they got sour tamarind, they got sweet tamarind. I'm gonna see if I can find some tamarind juice. Check this out borax. Wow, mix a quarter tablespoon of borax or boron in a liter of water and take it in small quantities over the course of a day or two. Consult your doctor before you use that. Yeah, I bet. Shit, I ain't taking no I'm doing no goddamn Clorox. Borox, my fault. Borox, I don't. I gotta look that up. Somebody out there putting my time like, what was borox? Zeolites. These volcanically produced crystals have recently been discovered as a powerful way to detoxify your body. They break down hardened calcium that forms around toxic metal, metals in tissue and remove these heavy metals from your body. I'm gonna check and see if possibly because this um, water was said to be formed by a volcanic eruption. We could see if zeolites are in that. Alright? Cleanses. Regular cleansing enable the body to naturally move toxins and heavy metal from the body, including fluoride. Fasting, family. Fasting. Iodine. Halides, halides like fluoride, chloride, bromine, accumulate in your tissues. If you're iodine deficient, which is an increasing problem around the world. 
If you cut back on salt and don't eat a lot of seafood, there's a good chance you may be deficient. Symptoms of iodine deficiency include chronic fatigue, thyroid disease, feeling cold or low blood or low, low body temperature, and hormone imbalance. To get more iodine, eat foods rich in iodine or take a colloidal, a colloidal iodine supplement for the best result. All right, so one of, the, one of the foods that is high in iodine, seaweed, fam. Seafood and seaweed, right? Like in your salads, soak a little seaweed, throw a little bit of seaweed in your salad. All right? Um, so... DMT. While the function of DMT within the human brain is currently unknown, dimethyltryptamine DMT is one of the most powerful psychedelic drugs which happens to occur naturally in animals, plants, and human beings. But it's illegal. It's illegal, family. It's illegal. Alright, let's look at it. When consumed orally, DMT is reported to initiate strong psychedelic and often spiritual experience for the, for the uh, mediator. However, illegal in the United States, the consumption of DMT has a, has deep deep roots within culture of South American and shamans and natural healing. Alright. Um, there's a video called DMT the Spirit Molecule, made in 2010. You can check it out. Um, common benefits of DMT, the DMT experience. Increase in self-awareness, emotional balance. And a deeper connection to life. Alright. Where's the chloration between fluoride and the pineal gland? When the modern inhibitors of pineal gland, fluoride, are right, we already went through that one. So now we know that it releases DMT. And we kind of talked about what DMT, what DMT is, right? Just a little bit. Um in 1972, Julius Axelrod also discovered that the human pineal gland produces DMT, dimethyltryptamine, which is a hallucinogenic substance. Active and serious med meditators are able to flood their brain with DMT, negating the need for substance like ayahuasca. Ayahuasca is a drug that you get down in South America where they take you through a process. You go through a ritual when you take it and it, you... You got to look it up. All right. Um, it is also thought that diet interferes with the activity of the pineal, pineal gland, like eating sugar, as it produces enzymatic, enzymatic inhibitors. Therefore, cleansing our bodies and consuming fresh quality organic nutrition will help heighten our consciousness as well as other practices. When consumed orally, DMT is reported to initiate a strong psychedelic and often spiritual experience. Your body naturally produces this. Right? This help with the dreams. This help with when you run into the ancestors or you run into the gods. You know what I'm saying? People I mean really people people this is this is part of the religious, part of the spiritual experience, family. Right? Y'all see the sun coming up. Alright, so I'm gonna get up off of here, right? If you have any questions about the um the pineal, you know what I'm saying? Let's talk. You know what I'm saying? Now, I ain't going to say questions if you have any discussions because let's learn together. All right? I'm not by no means is no, no expert on none of this shit I'm talking about. But I feel that it needs to be brought. You know what I'm saying? I feel that the information needs to be brought and shared. And if I don't do it, who the fuck going to do it? All right? You know what I'm saying? In, in the way that I do it. You know what I'm saying? Because we have fun and we learn and we grow. And some of the shit is wrong, and I come back, I make a correction, and I, I'm not above being corrected. I'm not, a, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, let's respect each other. Respect each other on my timeline, right? Please. All right, respect each other in the comments below. You know what I'm saying? But we can we can discuss. We can talk. We can grow together. All right, and that's what it's all about, ultimately. So this is Brother I Tim, and I am out. Thank you for watching the video. I want you to subscribe. Click the bird right there, the fiery bird. And I also have a special video just for you right there. And for those that want more information about Jeremy Journey, go to our site. It should be right about there.